when I worked for a women's online magazine, we did some documentary type stuff to help get the ball rolling for us. So I think that when you're doing an online business, you should do some sort of documentary type stuff because you're online and people can't see you. But with a documentary, people can get a sense of your transparency. I thought about doing a documentary about how to turn your hopes and dreams into reality. But then I realized I live in Hollywood where hopes and dreams come to die. So it would be hard to make that believable. Then I thought that doing a documentary about how to start a cheesy, low-budget media company with hot babes and horror movies would be more believable because people could see my failures. People identify with failures. There's something about failures that people love to watch. You know, it's something about it that people see failures and it makes them feel less like a failure themselves. You know, I know it works for me. It helps me to see my own failures sometimes because I get inspired to see my failures if they're not too depressing. I mean, look at how many people still watch CNN. It doesn't get more failure than that or depressing. Failure loves company. Really, at the end of the day, it's about what's the dumbest thing I can possibly do? Because dumb makes people feel better. Because dumb makes people feel smarter. And that's how I can help change the world. By being dumb enough to help people. But when you think of documentary, you think of something that's long and boring and emotional. About something serious like how to change the world or something serious like that. And that just doesn't appeal to me as a personal brand. Might as well be making art. Ugh, no thank you. The dumber, the better, because that's what's relatable. That's what's entertainment. And that's what gives people that, ah. And plus, I can scale dumber.